Video game movies and TV shows. What do you think of? Is that something you like? Uh, they've kind of been miss more than a hit. Uh, but today we're going to review the first episode of the new Halo series on Paramount+. Plus. Pre-Halo, I was a hardcore PlayStation guy. I only played games that were exclusive like Ratchet and Clank or uh, NBA games. I love the controller. I thought the Microsoft Xbox controller was really weird. And I, I didn't want to switch over. Uh, but then where I worked, we actually had uh, four screens with four Xboxes hooked up so we could play uh, this uh, first person shooter Halo at lunchtime. So after a while, it convinced me that I should have an Xbox. And ever since, we've been pretty much Xbox exclusive in my home. When it was first announced that there was a show, uh, it was kind of lukewarm. I mean, it was a first person shooter. It had a decent story. I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to make it into a super fun show. But of course, I'm going to give it a try. It's a, a sci-fi show. We don't get a ton of really good sci-fi, in my opinion, especially shows. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say the first episode was, it was all right. If you uh, are looking for something to be accurate and you hate it when they change uh, characters, you're going to be pleasantly excited because the aliens on the show look pretty much exactly like they would uh, in the video game. So right off, that is one thing that I noticed that will please most hardcore Halo fans. The show starts out with two factions of humans uh, battling it over who knows what they're battling for at this point. And then these mysterious alien creatures come in and start wreaking havoc with their they got their laser swords. Uh, they get all your favorite weapons from the Halo video game. And the humans don't know what to do with themselves. And then out of the sky drops these special troopers called Spartans. And Master Chief, if you've played the game, is a Spartan. And these are like super soldiers. They don't exactly save the day because they kill a lot of citizens. But they are the only ones that can seem to touch these aliens. And then they proceed to uh, kick a lot of butt and there goes the aliens. But there's one survivor from the village who is, of course, I think our main character along with Master Chief. Why I think this is kind of a fun show is uh, Master Chief and all the Spartans, their memories have kind of been erased. So they're more of, uh, I think maybe Universal Soldier. I mean, I don't know if they're, I'm not exactly, I don't remember their backstory as much from the games. I played Halo 1, 2, 3, and then after that I kind of grew out of it a little bit. Um, so they are got that Universal Soldier vibe. I thought they were going to go with a Mandalorian uh, where he never takes his helmet off. And of course they, they didn't go that route if you watch the show. And the aliens, what are they after? So they're after uh, this secret artifact. And Master Chief ends up finding it. And the leader of the uh, aliens is actually a human. So that's going to be very important in moving forward with the story. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I don't get too critical. I generally keep them pretty positive. Uh, this show, and even though I'm a Halo fan, I, I'm, I'm pretty lukewarm, just to be honest. Um, there was this huge battle that started right off in the beginning, and it lasted for quite a long time. And for a battle, you want intense action. And there was some fun action. Uh, the aliens, even though they were video game accurate, uh, they looked kind of, kind of funny. And I didn't find the action intense. Like when I see battle scenes or I see uh, fight scenes, you want to see that intensity. I think that comes, maybe they didn't have the best soundtrack in the world. Because you could have the coolest action in the world going on in front of you. Uh, but if you don't have the, the proper heart pounding beats behind it, it's not as good. And I kind of feel like this is where Halo is. They had some decent action, uh, but there wasn't that intense driven music behind it. Which is ironic because in the video games, I think they have some of the best dramatic music of any video game. The plot is also kind of a little generic. It's uh, humans get a new species. They want to weaponize these uh, species. Uh, they're trying to understand them. So it's it's not nothing brand new that we've seen. Uh, but I am intrigued because uh, Master Chief, uh, he finds that artifact and he kind of discovers that um, you know, maybe he's not who he thinks he is. So I'm interested to see a Master Chief's journey. He's also got this girl tagging along with him. 
that he saved on the planet. And uh, he has now they're on the run because the people that Master Chief normally works for um, have realized he may have gone rogue, but they're not sure. Now the aliens, they also want to get Master Chief because for some reason when he touches the artifact, it reacts. So that's got my interest. So if you like sci-fi, I think this is worth checking out. If you're someone that says, I will never, ever watch another video game remake into a movie again, you might be right. This one's, it feels a, just a tad bit hollow, but I, it has potential, so I'm going to keep watching it. Um, if you are someone that, if you like a generic Mandalorian character, this might be for you. Um, otherwise, it remains to be seen. I'm going to give this one a solid, we're going to give it a C+. Plus. We won't give it the gamut of approval today. Maybe we'll revisit this review. Now let me know, what, what do you think? Uh, Paramount Plus has done really well with their uh, Picard series. Um, Star Trek Discovery was, was pretty good. I haven't watched some of the other shows uh, that are Paramount Plus exclusives. Just for sci-fi, uh, I've enjoyed those. So I'm hoping that Halo will turn it around. Uh, did you Are you a Halo gamer and you're excited to watch this? Or are you just new to... Uh, the Halo verse. So if you could hit that subscribe button so the next time a next video game show or movie comes out, you'll be right there with me. If you hit the notifications, you could be the first person to watch the video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. And if you're a first time uh, viewer, just to let you know when you watch my videos, you will find something to brag about.